There goes my hope that he was the guy that ran into the fire at Burning Man. <laughs> Hannigan. Chad, that's her. I didn't mean it. Oh, okay. I love you. Oh. Hannigan, get on the air. Wait a minute, I need a drink. Okay. No, no, you're yes, going. Okay. She's No, he wants whiskey. He wants doers. Oh. Straight up rocks. It's Iron Man. Oh, Hannigan. Incredible fresh off of Burning Man. Oh, yeah. She'll make it for you, but talk into the mic. Did you or did you not know that a guy ran into the Burning Man to kill himself? Yeah. Did you see it? I didn't see it, no. People in my camp saw it. Okay, so that's not something you heard on the news on your No, I heard out? about it pretty much immediately because people came back to the camp all sh- shell-shocked because they actually saw it. Wow, that would be the... I, shell-shocked? I would have been running back going, You missed the fucking best part! Yeah, yeah. There, yeah it was not really a killer termite type <laughs> camp. <laughs> well, Duncan Trussell was there. Yeah, he was the he's a, by pure coincidence in a neighboring camp. Brett, here's the thing: Brett and Kerry were there. They saw it and they didn't run back going, "Woo, it was hilarious." They were pretty shocked. Well, they their they know serotonin their audience. was low. They know their audience. They were Hennigan sure. calls me or texts me or types at me from Burning Man. Oh, I now I realize. Uh, don't bring people to a party that are going to be big, <laughs> more popular than you are. Yeah. He brought fucking Erickson and Mitchell. Yeah. And they immediately turned the fucking volume up. And then Brian's there, not tripping, n- not drugging, having a few cocktails. <laughs> oh, I was here first. <laughs> yeah, you don't make a joke like You didn't go- do drugs at Burning Man? I never do drugs. What do you go to Burning Man for? For t- so I can not be myself. Ah, uh, I got you. If you see what I mean. No, oh, yeah. no, everyone's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's that makes sense. Behind yeah, believe, you. believe me, everyone I tell <laughs> I go to Burning Man always says, really, you're not really the right. Burning Man type. Right, yeah, no, as soon as you say that, that makes yeah. sense. But <laughs> everyone supports him in not being himself. Yeah. Uh, also, he's kind there, of a dick. do I. Also, there is a way in which I... Again, the very important way that I... And I, I know I'm repeating myself. One of the reasons I like Burning Man is because it's a city of 70,000 people built in the desert almost overnight by people who do that shit. It's not a bunch of fucking passengers. It's people who do things. Now, well, yes, there are passengers... Sparkle ponies, people who just turn up for the whee, you know, but our camp isn't really one of those. Well, I was quite the, the news report to the guy who ran into the flames mm-hmm. um, is that they were saying that there was like a cordon of sort of, you know, sort of state officials and firemen trying to stop him. And I thought that was a bit strange because I always imagine there'd be no they had sort to of add organized. Six, they had to add 600 security people to. At let the burning man burn. Okay, be, they wanted to stop it because I didn't think you'd be like that. I didn't. No I didn't think there'd be any let sort of the burning man burn. I didn't think there'd be any kind of security of five in there. It'd just be like you know there'd be an old hippie who'd say, "Hey man, you should." The burning man do is that. not on private <laughs> ground. Burning man is on BLM ground. BLM ground. So, so the BLM can do, go wherever they want and do whatever they want, as can the Nevada sheriffs. The Nevada sheriffs. You know, or, or I mean, not, not, they're not Nevada sheriffs, they're whatever the fucking county is, but they just, they can search you, they can stop you at any point. You uh, actually tweeted that, that uh, again, it, you would, uh, as far as security goes, you would choose Burning TSA. Man security over TSA yeah. if you're trying to keep bombs when you, when off of planes. When you're going into Burning Man, <laughs> you're stopped at the gate by these, you know, very friendly Burning Man types with all the sort of nose rings and 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 strange hair and <laughs> tattoos and odd costumes that you'd expect, but they're all basically, frankly, graduates or something like that. And and then so the, you pull up in your RV or your car or whatever, and they they're all, they tell they, they you know they hey hoo ha and they're they're very Burning Manny in terms of how they <laughs> greet you. And then they just say, Hey, we're going to look in your ass. And then they just say, okay, I'm going to well, use the back of my this hand. This is not sexual this time. This is a free one. And then they just say, we're coming on board or let, let open up all your doors or whatever. 
and they know what they're looking for and they're and they're again I hate to say this but they're they're young they're motivated they're intelligent they're not they're they're going to find it what are they looking for they're looking for people mostly okay and but also you're not allowed to have any uh, wait, 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 explain uh, wait hang on Jonathan I don't know if you've met Jonathan no uh, but he knows you, and he's, he agrees he's that been you, looking at you him sound with like a posh lad. Asked me for quite some time now. <laughs> well, he's English. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's oh, quite, yeah, oh yeah. I, I knew oh, exactly why. We'll fan those flames later, but let's stay with Burning <laughs> Man. I've, 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 I've been like the contempt buffer. <laughs> they, um, but they're looking for um, people, and they're looking for firearms. Hey, that's why I wanted to ask Jonathan uh, or you. Fireworks, to well. Drive-in theaters. Tom Kanopka's here in the background. You remember when drive-in theaters, they'd charge you by the head, but you'd smuggle your friends in the trunk. I don't know if you had those in the UK. No. What? And I'm sorry, without theaters. weather. So is that the same? Because I was wondering why they look for people. Is that the same concept? Well, yeah, to... it's like, how? how it's $500 it to get in. And there's a limited number of tickets. <clears throat> so if you show up with an RV, it's basically like border patrol. Yeah. Where, how many people are you smuggling into the fucking country, you mule, you yeah. coyote? Difference is, it, well, regardless, there are a lot of difference, but again, it's like they've got one kind of, you know, cle- is, clever hippie doing it, who I guarantee is as good as any border patrol guy, and is not doesn't need all of that fucking support behind. But they're not they're not taking your drugs away, or else no. they'll be going to Burning Man. No, right. they're, they're they're also looking for uh, the amount of provisions for the amount of people. No, they're not. That was the big part of the list that we were like looking at. They do not. Go. They don't. That's the list. Really? Yeah. No. 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 That's what's on their website. You turn up with you turn up with nothing, they, and you got a that's, ticket. They'll let you the in. That's the man saying that. This is Burning Man. Isn't it funny that the man now goes to the fucking Burning Man? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Woodstock for the man. <laughs> is there a sort of like VIP entrance and sort of VIP tickets for? Because it's... No? It, 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 you can, quite you can fly in. <laughs> yeah, you told me that. Uh, that doesn't make it better. No, I'm just saying you can, though, <laughs> which is the de facto VIP now. If there was a Holiday Inn Express that I could get a shuttle bus to the, the fun three hours, yeah, yeah. five hours I'd have. Well, people do. People just come for a weekend, but you still have to pay for the same ticket. Well, you have to parachute in. There are people who come just for the Thursday, Friday, Saturday of the last weekend. They just, they've bought the same ticket as everyone else. I, I don't understand. Well, first of all, you, you of all people <laughs> who hates fun. Again, it depends what your definition. I mean, tell I, me about a day, just one day that you spent at Burning Man. Like 24 hours, because I know you, you get hammered. You, uh-huh. you drink your drink. Uh, uh, well, again, the best, I, and we're lucky because in our camp, we have early entry, which means uh, we get to see all the art being built. And that's something people don't seem to talk about a lot. I don't, I'll be honest, I wasn't even that aware of it myself till I went. I thought it was just dancing and drugs and stuff. But Burning Man is essentially an art festival where people, like, and again, this is where there's a direct, direct analogy with what you have. See those like those um, steel or whatever they are, palm trees out there. Yeah, there are people who build things like that, but just on a, a much week. bigger scale for like, just a couple and, days, and just for, the, for for a week. Yeah. yeah, wow. And that's where the money goes. So that you got seventy thousand people times five hundred dollars. Most of the money goes to art and creating obscure and wonderful. There was this. Let was, me make an analogy. Yeah. It's kind of like. When we did the swap cast here at Bisbee, we charged people $25 a head, mm-hmm. and Chaley spent it all on the set design, <laughs> and Burt Kreischer walked out with nothing, and Chaley made $50. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, well that's, a, that's one way to look at it. I didn't bring this up in front of Burt on the swap <laughs> cast. <laughs> they, uh, you have to really like art. It's is really, what you're like, 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 yeah. Chaley's touchy. But about there's some that, very. I, I um, there. there are some. There are some. Some of the art is just astonishing, like just amazing to look at. So, so this, were you helping set up? If you no, were what we do, way. our camp is called Feed the Artists, and we turn up early because we go round at night with like very good food for the artists. Because most of them, what do you make? Well, 
Because I see what you eat. Okay. So this year was the first year where I had had to cater a day. So I was a day leader. So that meant I had to feed the camp of 80 people, 80 people for one day. So I made just a very boring, bland Scottish breakfast, which is, you know, just like bacon, eggs and that sort of shite. Oh, and potato scones uh, with brown sauce. So uh, you, you, it's to punish the artist? No, 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 the artist. I, no, I, I, I don't do the artist's day. That's because when you're catering for the, in the, in the setup week, you have to feed 160 people, which is a lot. Is that when you go for deep fried pizzas and heroin? No, no, no. Stop making the obvious jokes. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> He's already done a podcast. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm yeah. used no, we, we 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 try to stage this so we we could pit you two against each other, but uh, we just want to hear about you. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, that's really it. And so, like a good day, like well, you so you didn't go there to just feed people. No, I go there. To, I mean, I'll be honest. I most I mostly go there to take photographs. Do you ever get naked and walk around naked? Not really. No, not Wait, really. Not really. Well, I mean, I do in my own house, but not at Burning no, Man. No, at Burning Man. I'm no, saying, no, day, no. you don't just feed artists for no, a day in Burning no. Man. Here, okay, here's the analogy that you'll get, Doug, right? Every single time you see uh, an article about, everyone loves going to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, which, and they always say Fringe Festival rather than Festival Fringe, uh, there's a picture of a fucking juggler, right? Yeah. Because it's, cause it's visual. Oh. How much does juggling matter to, in the festival at, at Edinburgh? Not a bit, but it's visual and newspapers like to put it in. Therefore, when newspapers are writing about Burning Man, oh, let's get a picture of a cookie looking chick with a nose ring and well, somebody throwing. Most, yeah, most of them are half naked. Yeah, I, I did exactly. Like Burning Man Sequin bikinis. So well, I, I noticed, a, on yeah, I yeah, noticed a theme. Yeah. But how representative that is of what Burning Man is. Is. Almost not. No. So, so what is? I'm Did you saying, get laid at Burning Man? I, uh, I would never talk about that. Oh, later you'll tell me. No. Nope. Oh, is that a yes? I tried to no. wink at Hennigan and he looked away from me. Go on. <laughs> well, it's, it's an obvious yes. But go on. Point being, I no one wants to hear about that part. I want to hear about what you do. You assume everyone's on some kind of good drugs. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, in terms of like Chad talking about, hang on, let me let me put it in this uh, fashion. Compare Burning Man to our own personal Death Valley, right? Burning Which is Man an parties. obvious comparison. Yes, uh, the difference would be uh, there a big difference. Again, I, I, a lot of it's to do with who you're hanging out with. Obviously, you're not hanging out with seventy thousand people. You're hanging out with the people you know, which is mostly your camp particularly if your camp has a purpose for being there, right? Uh, and all I know is that uh, our camp is not poor, right? So, no shit. So when it comes to... Brian Weiner is a guy that we know. He's I met him in Florida. Sold a, yeah, he's yeah. a great yeah, guy. Nice great guy. guy. He sold like a dot com for a billion dollars, and now yeah. all he does it is... is well, now you just ruined all of my fucking jokes about uh, not helping other people because that guy really helps a lot of people. Yeah. I know he does. He's, he's, a, really, yeah, really he's a really folks. good guy. He's yeah. the Shawnee yeah. of Burning Man. How's that for an example? Well, he's the Sha- Wait, well uh, he does everything. He can build everything. He yeah. can do everything. There are and people he never in, runs out of There energy. are people in our camp who are embarrassingly and shamefully man-like and practical like, and who can build, oh, hi, on, I'll take apart your engine and rebuild it. That type of thing. And then I'll do something else after lunch. Uh, so, Shawnee. Yeah. So, and, the, but, and there's, you know, and then there are other people who basically, you know, contribute more to the camp, and let's put it in blunt terms, financially than others, you know. Uh, so, but, but to go back to the question about the drugs, there are no shit drugs in, in, a, in, in, in my orbit, shall we say. There's no one going, oh, that was a bit dodgy. Yeah. This is, you know, there are people that people there know their drugs. Feed the artist is known as ignore the homeless in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke I wanted to make until I knew that that's not true. Those guys are actually But you sold it. Really helpful. I didn't even get it. I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I, again, uh, the, the point would be, again, just go back to the drugs. It's like, I just want to know... 
one twenty-four hour cycle of yours. You, okay, but you feed the thing. Right. So like, let's see. Then you we, start drinking what? Right. So let's see. What we, do you drink? I drink vodka straight. Ugh. Because, because you have I don't ice want ice there. But, well, yeah, of course. You, that's the one thing you can buy. Four dollars a bag. The one thing you can buy is ice. Gouge them and coffee as well. You can buy coffee in the central camp, but that's that's too far away. <laughs> Uh, but, and you guys had your own coffee but, press. Um, yeah, so we, you can buy ice. You can't buy water. What time do you go to bed? Uh, typically, for me, I'd go to bed most of the time between 2 and 3, and some nights I'll stay up t- all night. All right, so so the best night you had, mm. the, the best, best 24-hour cycle, Okay, the best you woke 20- up at what time? Round about, well, you have to get up for like brunch, which is we do two two meals a day. So I probably woke up about 11 and then went straight to breakfast at 11.30. And then, uh, and then we were, and then let me think. Oh yeah. So I, I arranged, there are these things called art cars. And, I, but I think they're, you would, and, and th- they're, they're very interesting to look at. But the, I, the ones I'm interested in are the ones that I would think were better described to get, if you were an art car, you have no idea. That could be fucking Gretchen's Hillary Clinton thing, right? <laughs> and let's be honest, that'd be a bit of a disappointment if you'd driven that far to see that fucking car. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying it's not artistic, but it's not worth driving that a distance. Whereas, um, if I tell you, I, like, the things I'm interested in primarily are, are, I would describe as sound buses. They're enormous mobile contraptions that blast EDM at extraordinary levels in a localized way. This is a very important point that I understood today, this, this trip, because I spoke to an audio engineer who was there. They have to be able to calibrate their sound projection in a way that it doesn't drown the entire festival and that's very precise do you know how they do that um somebody explained it to me and it involved science so i forgot it <laughs> <laughs> he didn't read it in smart fuck magazine yeah. so but the good thing is impressive. i'm now aware of it so i will read up but yeah so there's this thing called the aztec warrior which is just a it's like a humongous laser and light equipped battleship that goes across the playa and basically takes with it a happy, you know, fucking legion of drugged out dancing people. And it just goes all night. <laughs> and then there's another one called Robot Heart. And the one I, another one I, I, I always go out with is called the uh, uh, Forest House. So I, I'm mostly well, interested. Tell us about Forest House. <laughs> Forest House is a brilliant contraption that is made by this guy from New England called Christopher Bouton. And it looks, when when you first look at it, it looks like an illuminated asparagus forest. There's no other way to describe it. And it's based on 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 a bus structure. And all the stalks of asparagus, shall we say, change color constantly. And it just roves across an entirely flat playa, blasting out tunes, then stopping every now and then. But... Don't you understand how much better that would be on drugs? Oh, well, I was picturing him throwing out like acid, like bubble gum, at, like a a parade. When again, you're a I guess bear in mind uh, there are Nevada sheriffs and BLM everywhere. It's, it is this is not unregulated land. I know, but wouldn't those colors be so? Well, you wouldn't know. You've never done hallucinogens. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. I haven't. But so again. I don't have the hunger. Even there. I've had, you, to, ex- I've had, to, ex- would- I've had to explain this thing about hunger a lot. And you know this, what I'm about to say, Doug Stanhope, which is you can, in, 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 in philosophy, it's called a secondary order desire. You cannot have a hunger to be hungry. I cannot be addicted to cigarettes without smoking okay? cigarettes. That doesn't, you cannot have that. Apart from in the song Montego Bay, where he says... <laughs> I thirst to be thirsty in Montego Bay. That makes sense because it's an artistic thing. But on a, on a philosophical point, you cannot, you cannot want to be hungry. Uh, and I, do, you, I don't have a hunger for drugs. I understand that. Uh, but being, but you were obviously around a lot of people who were on different drugs and hallucinogens oh, oh, and things. Oh, for sure. I mean, that doesn't, the curiosity doesn't Did they to, seem to, to be having or, more or, fun than you? Yeah, they, uh, Don't you I'll, just find them quite okay, irritating? Let, let, again, let me give you another example. On the way back, 
and you know I've been there a lot, Vegas, I stopped for two nights in Vegas because I wanted to decompress. I, I walk through a casino, I never think I want to gamble, right. ever. And you know people like that. Right? I'm one of them. Right. But, so you but that's because I'm poor. Okay, so no, that's a whole yeah, different perspective. No, but, okay, right. But you do understand. <laughs> okay, but literally, <laughs> I, you, do you have a hunger when you walk through a casino no, to gamble? No, 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 right. No, no. So you understand what it's like to be I surrounded do. by every type of gambling, but and not, not one. And not understand the attraction. Exactly. But if you're in a but Thank if you're you for the analogy. Casino, that's there you nice. go. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in a hey, casino, you just think, I want to go home because this is boring. But you're not doing that. You're staying at a... Uh, a sort of burning it, man, and because because again, for me, it's about the art and the photography. The, well, and Brian I, I, is admiring so. things on a level people don't need. No. Like pe- these are productive people, and Brian admires the productive I, I know, people. The, I get that. I'm yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. to make the analogy. Brian is like a child who's never experienced anything. So just having a a, a kickball that he can kick up against the wall is going to be amusing to him. On which I would be fucking bored out of my again, mind. And again, I'm not denying. Here's an important point. The, that's, not, that's not a good that's analogy. No, 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 no. That's no, I, no funny, fun, fun, funny enough, it, it's, I was going to say a Super Bowl that you get for a dime out of a fucking. Uh, no, Brian, Brian would bounce. Brian it. would lose a Super Bowl no, no, so no. fast. I would you actually. I would. I would actually like to uh, double down on Doug's analogy by by telling you a, a truthful thing, which is. Nothing, nothing gives me more th- fun than throwing a frisbee back and forth. Brian likes fun. I love that more than anything else. <laughs> and no one ever wants to do it. All right, that's the end of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have the draft app on my phone. Yes, draft.com. I do it on my computer because my phone's a piece of shit and I can't fit any more apps on it even though i don't use apps (laughs) you're not missing it basically is what you're saying well i know uh, to play head to head uh like to invite someone to to play against you on draft.com let's keep nailing nailing that draft.com yeah like bieber hole 69 i heard the last podcast and then wanted to uh get into a draft directly with me so i get a little thing bing Hey, Bieber Hole 69 wants to uh, get into a draft with you. And then we just lot, and you beat si- his ass. sign up. I can't remember if I beat him or not. I don't want to say I did if I didn't. I did do good last week. I, I uh, ended up pulling away with uh, almost 23 bucks. All right. Okay. And, oh, I was in a, I was in a, a draft with you, too, because we actually got into one. And uh, I, I believe I beat you well, as well. Well, Kenny, Kenny set up a draft that I got because you, you have it on the – App. I have the app, but even in the lobby, it showed up where Castle Rock Kenny made a a, a, a what do you call it? He made a draft like the like the uh, there's one here called the Merch Money Refund Draft. I ended up winning that one. Another guy had a bootstrap draft. I actually won that one too. And these are with people that just uh, c- contact us. Another one I lost was the Tour Gas Money Draft. So when you create your draft and you want to go head to head with someone, oh, oh by the way, uh, my username is Stan Hope. And Chaley is Stanhope Podcast. Yep. So yeah, if you if you get on draft dot com or uh, the Play Draft app, uh, yeah, you figure it out and just yeah, invite me to it. I don't know. You, someone knows how to do it. No, no you, Kenny did it. Yeah, yeah, Kenny did it. So uh, we're we're going in and just getting regular drafts as well as doing the head to head, which is funny. And when we get home from the tour, which we're finally finished with. I'll uh, clear up your phone. It's on an Android, and I'll uh, I'll get it on there. It's just uh, we gotta we gotta back up your phone before we do anything. Good. Well, yeah. If 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 Kenny can figure it out, you figure <laughs> it out. Figure out how to invite me into your draft, and I'll, I'll play you. I'll yeah. play. I ain't scared. I did pretty good it, last and week. And you do have that auto pick where it gives you the. But I've figured I I got my ass handed to me last week. I played like four different drafts against people, and yeah. I lost every one. Really? Even but, the five dollar one. Yeah, yeah. I oh, don't, wow. Uh, I don't know. That whole projection thing, that's just, it's the same as a betting line in yeah. Vegas. They're just guessing or based on what you think who's going to do well. And as we get into more deeper into the season, things are going to start changing because some of these players are going to get hurt and everything's done for you. You don't have to do anything. I, I realize what the auto pick is for, Doug. If someone challenges you 
and you accept, and you're not there, and you're to, not there, it'll just pick, and yeah. you, that, that's better than than missing. And out they on give it. you the highest projections. Yeah, and you're not sitting around waiting for someone to come in and start the draft. If you're not there, or if they're not there, and and they accept it, boom, it just goes, and then you can move on with your day. Simple. Perfect. All right, come and join me on Draft today. Download the app any time. Just search Draft in your app store and join a game in minutes or play right from your computer on playdraft.com. No, it's that's isn't that it the goes fuck? It actually that that oh, goes playdraft.com. Playdraft.com goes. actually goes to draft.com too. Same it just thing. goes straight to it. For a limited time, all new players get a free entry into a draft when you make the first deposit, but you have to use promo code STANHOPE. That's right. Play a real money game for free just using promo code Stanhope on your first deposit on draft.com. Just search draft in the app store or go to playdraft.com and come play free with promo code Stanhope. Use the app to set up a private draft with friends or me or Chaley. Stanhope and Stanhope Podcast are our perspective names on draft. Hey, don't forget Castle Rock. That's right. Play a real money game for free just using promo code Stanhope on your first deposit on draft. <laughs> how can you know, how can I'm people... sure I have something I like to do. I don't. I can't think of one thing I like to do, but I'm sure I have one. You like to critique bacon? Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, that's again that's one area. Our camp, the best bacon every single morning. So what sort of bacon is that? So like Doug, literally like well, Doug likes hang it. Hang on. Absolutely. Jonathan, you don't know. He's That's... already done a podcast with us before, mm -hmm. but he couldn't put it out. Jonathan has moved. He's a, a Brit, lived here for three years, moved to Silicon Valley, came down, was staying at the Shady Dell. We had him on the podcast after a baseball game. Still hasn't gone out because he was worried it might fuck up his gig. But now he quit his gig and moved to Bisbee. Oh. So, uh... Bacon, what you call fucking bacon and Canada calls fucking bacon is not bacon. I beg to differ. But really? Yeah. Obviously you would. <laughs> yes, it's just it's just one of the things that is it has the same name but is completely different here. It's all f you have to cut the f like raw uh -huh. fat off the fucking no, oh my so, God! You stuff that no, in your but, but it's greasy. But it's face. also, but the right. thing is, it's also fucking semi-mobile UK bacon. It's like not crisp. It's like a slithering thing on your plate. You know, it's, it's fucking. The it's, only it's thing I like, like an about alien fetus, <laughs> isn't it? You should <laughs> really use the grass for your fork. It is. It is, it is. There you go. There you go. That's the good. That's good. <laughs> What you, do you, say? Sh you shouldn't need. You shouldn't be able to use chopsticks to eat bacon. <laughs> <laughs> now, technically, you could use it with yeah, crispy bacon. Yeah, but exactly. Again, that I think doesn't it's make very, sense at all. It was but a very funny point. I want because uh, we talked Don't about you. It. Can you tell what part of England he's from by his accent? So, just uh, to tell me a story. Uh, wait, no, before no. that, on a scale of one to ten, how much do you hate him already? Well, it's Based difficult because Brian it's, hates everyone all. No, no, but when somebody says when somebody is English, they're all they're immediately in deficit, and it's very difficult. <laughs> so, and, and he's clearly not from not from Newcastle or Manchester, who I give a pass to. Let me let me back up uh, on the previous podcast uh, that we did with him. He was saying, I I was saying that it's hard for me. To, I know different British accents, but I don't know where they're from. Uh -huh. And in American movies, you know, someone who talks like this is from the South, even if, or Fargo. You yes. Know? So he was saying that he obviously has an accent from where he's from. So uh, uh, just tell, give me a sentence. Uh, the, 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 the rain in Spain. <laughs> Um, I, I, it, it's Don't talk to me. Talk to him. I'll, I'll try and do this. I'll try and oh, do this in the in the, the accent I was born with, which I mostly is. have. Jeez. Just like, no, let's just keep talking. I'll, I'll just sound anything. like an it complete idiot, which I already do anyway. I suspect, but the rain in Spain. Are you a fucking scouser? No, I'm a Birmingham. Are oh, yeah? you? Okay, Birmingham. Oh yeah. Well, no one comes from there. But he said he, he told me his accent is obvious. 
It is, I mean, there was, again, I... I I'm, I'm south of the hate border for uh, you, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I can't help you, really. I mean, it's not that, I mean, it's, I mean it's, you are the last person I would go to for help. I he did have your back. He did have your back because earlier we were saying that how you have a fancy lad. I know, but again, again, he again, said he listened this, to a the podcast thing with, where you explained it and he said, oh, that makes sense. No, that, no that's the, very true. I heard a podcast where he was accusing you of being what's a fancy, fancy lad. boy. Fancy oh, lad. I'm not. Bush lad. Bush lad. And you're not. And you came back with a very good point. And you said, no, I, I enunciate and, and, and I speak in English so mm. other people in the rest of the world can understand me. And that's uh-huh. exactly what I do. And good. I do right. Okay. And see, that, was a, that was a very no, good It's it, kind of like when they say, oh, oh when it's a black boxer and they say, oh, he's very articulate. <laughs> yeah. And I think you sound like, I, you, you probably don't, but to, in my mind, I always put you in a box with, uh, is it Amando Iannucci? Everyone, a lot of people would say, is that, do you have him on the podcast? But yeah, so but oh, he's you know obviously who this Scottish, guy is? He's the guy that right? created fucking Veep and everything. And he's yeah, Greek. Yeah, it's what he well. told us. <laughs> yeah, who gives a fuck? Uh, Veep. The, uh, there was, uh, oh, I forgot, yeah, there was a path I was going to go down, but I've forgotten. It. You disarmed me by making a good point. <laughs> <laughs> it won't happen again. <laughs> well, you, um, oh, you're, uh, you're tan. No, you look good. Thank you very much. You're, uh, you're fit. Uh, I, feel, I feel very unfit. I haven't done yoga for 14 days. I, you would think that's something you would do when you're not doing drugs at Burning Man would be yoga. I know, but I'm. I'm, I'm you much, still haven't told us one fun part about Burning Man. He was told us about out bacon, know, like an again, army private. Okay, but here's no, but here's the thing. You, like, here's okay. Here's the thing. Here's what you don't think is fun because you're not like you're not into photography. I like literally going around on my bicycle or on a on a on a sound bus with my. Camera, taking pictures, taking naked pictures. Chicks. No, I, I think this 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 is the first year I've actually even bothered doing chicks. Uh, but um, I like taking I like taking photographs, and taking good photographs and lot involves a lot of just waiting. Why don't you, oh, I, if if I were you, I would want to take pictures. Obviously, the guy running into the burning fire. That's one of the funniest things ever. If I were you, you saying that to me. <laughs> That's such a bizarre thing. <laughs> I would want to take pictures that you don't see at Burning Man of that's why the I guy did. curled up, oh, I see. barfing out fucking too much ecstasy. Ah, because that's just that's an invasion of privacy. I wouldn't do well, it. Well, I think they had that in the press with the man with the ponytail, which is divine justice. No, again, uh, some, some, something I did do was I took photographs, which I liked, of the art under construction. like which Because people only, only ever see the finished product. And I wanted to like yeah. I wanted to take nice. artistic pictures of like a crane lowering an enormous resin tree, and that's what I did. Again, most people aren't turned on how by many, that sort of thing. How many this people is bringing the Bauhaus to the funhouse? How many how, how many people follow you on Instagram with you? I don't care. What about a guy who like has shat his pants sitting outside a porta potty with a long line of people? And the porta potties are all over. I know, full. but this is where I need, that's I start, what I picture. Yeah, Burning okay. Man here's as. the thing: in Newcastle city centre, I wouldn't think twice about that, uh, or Pittsburgh, because those people deserve it. <laughs> Whereas uh, Burning Man, that's just not part of the ethos. When we bought tickets for Burning Man, that one I know year, that like first year, the first year ago, we all, we both bought tickets. Yeah, they had some lottery kind of whatever it was. We bought tickets, and then we realized we don't want to go to fucking Burning Man. At all. So, yeah, I mean, I built up to going. Here's how heavy that level of it's almost like joke stealing in comedy where it's self policing. We're not yes. going to jack up the price. We'll sell them back yeah. at the same price because you, yeah, there's a pressure on you. And that's a good thing. It is. I like I, 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 my first year, uh, there was this moment where. I was cycling to center camp. Funnily enough, that, that was one of those years I think I, I thought I fucking need a coffee. Uh, cause I didn't know anyone particularly well, even in my own camp. I didn't, and nobody knows you particularly. So, yeah. We don't know. I'm your, I'm your only fucking friend in the world and I don't know you and I Good. don't care to. Good. Uh, so, um, the, um, 
so and I was cycling there and suddenly you realized there was an RV on fire. And I naturally just pulled my camera out and it asked a lot of people. And then, and then there was this lone voice in the, in the dark, not, I wouldn't say the darkness, but it wasn't, it was the bright light because it was during the day. And somebody just shouted, put your cameras away. That's someone's home. <laughs> and everyone just went, oh shit, you're right. And just went about their business. I, I don't know if you've, evidently you don't have the internet. That or was, a fire extinguisher. But no, that was that was someone's art project, and he's <laughs> still this railing three years on Twitter ago. that three no years one ago. ever recognized his burning uh, RV. There's no he, pictures. He had to get back to work before Burning Man, so he did Burning RV. He had pyrotechnics, and no so, one noticed because yeah, everyone so, was a cunt. So you have your own camp, which is people that you know and that you. It's go not my with own them. camp; it's more Brian but, Wieners. But that's one that you you are part of. Yeah, yeah. I was lucky. Do you get, to get sort of inter camp hatred and racism? Between, oh no, we no, don't no. have anything to do with those pikes. No, no, no. The only one, the only thing that happened was last year. I don't know if you remember this made the new, this made the papers was that there are there are these camps that you describe as pay and play where people pay a lot of money and they get their ticket and they get like they're basically in a hotel and there's like the, you know I wouldn't say there's room service but it's pretty much like that type of situation and last year um, I think it was called White Palace or something was one of these operations. Uh, there was like a revolution and uh, somebody went in and cut all their power yeah. and ruined everything for them. And they're all running around going, how are we going to get ice? And where's our fucking truffles? <laughs> you know, th that type of thing. And th there was a, there was an ethos of that is not a burning man thing to do at the same time as people going, yeah, those cunts deserved it. Well, uh, this is not a lot different. Well, no, no. So Go are you ahead. replaying 20th century capitalism in a microcosm once a year for a week? Nope. Okay. Because there are no slaves. Ah! And, 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 very, and again, if I was to make a personal critique of Burning Man, fairly white festival. That, then again, I don't know how many festivals are not fairly white. Well, yeah. What? How much did you say it was? Juneteenth. Five. Was that, you said it was, was five hundred bucks a, a ticket. What's it called? Yeah, that's, wow. that freak, probably freak, contributes freak, a lot. To Freaknik. That. Freaknik. It's a. It's it, it's a spring break of black people. Freaknik. Is it? Well, she's looking it up. It's, I hope. Seven dollars to get into Freaknik. <laughs> but again, again, I have that to... RV's on fire. Let the motherfucker Seven. burn. But if I was to make a, a full critique of Burning Man, I genuinely have to look compare it to. Well, how does that compare to most cultural happenings? Like and like, I don't know what the. Two thousand eighteen. We finally do a redux of the Death Valley Party. Oh yeah. Or you go back to Burning Man. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. Which would Either you choose? Or. Oh, I see. Well, again, because I'm aware of the Burning... No, sorry, I'm aware of the, the Death Valley Party. This is where I'd go, well, I remember why it stopped, which was basically there were too many assholes showing up, and it became boring. And that would be the long version of Burning Man. Right, so, yeah. so, one of the, so the question would be, when, so when you said to me, hey, we're doing... Death Valley again, I'd basically say, okay, who's coming? Which you can't say with Burning Man. Who's Correct, because there's 70,000 people. Whereas when there's only, you're basically talking about a camp. You, Panamint, Death Valley was never even, a, I mean, our camp, our, the Burning Man camp that I go to is 60 people. I'm not sure. Did we ever have 60 people? Yeah, yeah, we had a, as much as 100 okay, at one point. Right, okay. So, but again, but in and out. But you yeah. guys seem like a cooperative, like but, organized. And it's people uh, who like of uh, there are a certain level of let's describe it competence. Okay. There weren't people turning up going, I've got nothing. James Inman wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Talking of self immolation. Uh yeah, yeah, James Inman was not oh there. Oh my god. I can't wait for the fucking to hear that Inman podcast in Denver. It was so good. Yeah, uh, so yeah, so um, yeah, it would be like that. I mean, if you if you were to go if you, if you were to go full on Burning Man purist and say we're going back to the first first Death Valley party, 
I'd say I'm in. But if you're saying, oh, we're going to do year five, I'd be going, mm, yeah, maybe. Year three was the best. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Burning Man must be going down that route. Well, it's very, it's very, there was a great email someone at Burning Man put out, which was, and they, went, they, they did a, here's what killed Burning Man. And they did a year by year yeah. thing of, oh no, it was this. Oh no, it was this. Jump the shark. Yeah. And they, and they listed every, cause every single year there's someone going, oh no, that's it. And there's a, there's, the, there was the a, actual burning man. First one was on a news it, right? group. The second one was on MySpace. Yeah. The and next it's, one this was thing on like, Facebook, oh, yeah, again, it it's Twitter. one of those things where it's like, you know, the Bob Dylan thing of like, yeah, that when you went, when you stopped being fully acoustic, that was it. That I was done with you. So that's what Burning Man's been like. You, you can actually go back and look at, because they, you know, they provided examples, people going in 1979 going, that's it, it's done. It will, you know. Shoot us. You know. <laughs> someone emailed me, and I'm sure we've talked about this, but someone emailed me when I worked on the man show from Burning Man. Oh, yeah. Heads of, hey, I hear you are thinking about going to Burning Man. Just know we don't allow cameras. I, I might have. You might have joked about it, but at, like, back then it, I wouldn't even know there wasn't even fucking Twitter or anything. I, it was they. They just told me you can't bring cameras here. They just shouted. Like, I might have said something somewhere. There was no podcast. I tell you what. I tell you one of the things they you, said. You yeah. can't do this. You can't come here. You need to fucking. If you're gonna film, you have to be. A, a, fucking wanted I, I i don't remember ever saying i wanted to go to burning man and you're giving me shit already fuck burning man no but that funny enough that's one of the things you i think or i i find enjoy enjoyable about it is that there is a complete like the, it's a non-money making thing so any there's no you, you can completely relax you're not thinking oh how can i fucking monetize remember the fucking the yeah, industry the douchebag douche yeah the industry douchebag this is uh, for the listener, I, one of the uh, Death Valley things. And I know that was a fucking Emery Emery ploy. He happened to know the guy. Oh, oh, I know this guy from the Starbucks. And he happened to be going through Death Valley in the middle of the night. And now he wants to monetize this party. And w that's uh, one of the f times we did uh, urine roulette. Yeah. His roulette. Yeah. Well, when I tried to look up pictures to see what it was going to like, like you said, the art cars and the things, like they make Mad Max look oh, yeah. fucking retarded. They were, like, again, it's, there's some amazing things. Yeah. But the majority is mostly naked but women. But again, that's what So to that, me, that seems like that's just but marketing. That's what, that's, people, their, that's what people take pictures of. Well, and that's because that's what it's that's kind of marketing. popular. I mean, still popular right, after yeah, all these uh, years. I mean, go figure. Fucking right. all so, in the family is so off to the air. say that it's not a lot of marketing air. about it. I mean, to me, it seemed like a lot of marketing that in that way. But I didn't look at any of your pictures. Yeah. But again, it's it's a, so it, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a, it's a non profit making organization. They're not trying to grow. But what what you have got is people making side bets on it or so side deals on it. Because you were saying that there's places you can go which you can pay to stay at, and it's essentially like a hotel. Well, well it's it's so a pay. Those are rare. So those so are rare. They're, 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 but but what the people who are running that are is, is making money essentially off side bets off site, isn't it? And it, and that that surely must be ruining the thing. I don't know. Don't worry, we've been drinking long before. No, in the sense, in up. the sense that, uh, I, again, it's a, ma a matter of how much you allow that to affect you. Like you just don't allow those people near you, and it, it's just like ordinary society. You don't, you stay away from people you don't like. That's right. This is a city the size of two Sierra Vistas. Exactly, and, and again, by, by if you looked at if you looked at it, you know per capita, it's a fucking wealthy city, like you know income oh, yeah. based. There's well, no doubt about that. If you can take a week off work and afford like a $500 ticket, it's going to be a relatively well. But party. there are also people, and then I know this for a fact in my camp, who are not fucking loaded, but once they've been, they love it so much, they fucking... It's like people come to see you or, go, or who go to the, oh, went to the, the Parliament. The Death Valley. Yeah. James they, Inman was there. They would... They would base their entire year around it. They're like, I, I need to do work overtime in july and then i had to do this and I, now i'm here and, I, and i'm making the most of it yeah 
So I, I don't want, I certainly don't want to, I mean, the, the, and, and this, this sounds very condescending, but these are ordinary working people who are kind of interested in, in freaky stuff. I, you know? All right. Uh, I, get, I, get, I, get, I, I have no outside other social yeah. contact except for the fun house. Right. So I get to come where it's a fucking, always a fucking yeah. show. Go, you know, so I, I, I understand completely. It's, uh, uh, you, also, I, I met Brian Weiner at the in Vegas, and that guy is a fucking philanthropist fucking guy for sure. Uh, and uh, he's really nice Oh, he's guy. great. Yeah. He is. But so, I uh, still wouldn't uh, maybe seems... wait in line for a fucking shitter when I was hung over. And well, again, we have shitters and camp you have shitters in your own camp if you're if you're us i oh. i guess what i was, but that's hang on this is then. where i was going with hennigan <laughs> hennigan yeah they used to frown on faggots and rvs oh you rv people and now it's uh hotels oh rv people are fine because this guy has a hotel and we're gonna cut his I think, power lines I think, I, I think i think the main thing is like if you look at our camp the big difference is this is that what what breaches? I think is, and I'm, I'm just talking philanthropy. What, no, what breaches the Burning Man ethos is when you're essentially paying someone to do something for you. Our camp, everyone pays the same dues, and you have the same duties as everyone else. So the guy that is the central, like, I her- remember when I used to book my own gigs, uh-huh. and I would know not to put gigs. In fucking Florida, when it's still hot, when we could do them in November, Whoa. let's put them in Whoa. hurricane season. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not a Scotsman who's aware of hurricanes. Hey, I and consulted you about all of these. No, you didn't consult me on all of these. You said, well, there's certain things in play. I go, why are we doing the South during September? That's dumb. Well, there's certain pr- things. I know you can't talk about them, mm. but well, again, there's no point saying it's a podcast. You can't say you can't talk about them. I can't, I can't talk about it mm. because I was at Burning Man. Well, mm. well, the publisher is is Brian back yet? From that, is, is he going to be okay? He's oh. not Scottish. I know. I just realized that. Was, <laughs> yeah, I, I just realized it. I, I, I mixed up. Yeah, fuck face Ben is from. Where is he from? <laughs> <you know? laughs> Somewhere. He's like, is he going to be uh, tripping his brains out? Because I still need some captions for these photos. That, And I go, no, he doesn't do drugs. Why is he at Burning Man? <laughs> Everyone's, you know, you know. I understand a lot more about Burning Man now. I really appreciate no, it. No, no, I mean, me, it's a... Uh, a macrocosm of the like you have the Burning Man and then you have the Stanhope's uh, Desert. If thing. I was to be, we, if I was to be to, a really philosophical, let him finish this. Oh, I, I just we used to we used to as rednecks just throw pallets into yeah. a big pile, but it's the exact same. It's pretty much that. it's the exact same thing, just on different levels. And I didn't understand that until you explained it. So I appreciate it. No, but he is I, in the Champagne Socialists camp. Well, isn't that what is the goal of everybody? Do you think the rednecks throwing fucking pallets in the middle wouldn't aspire to be one day Absolutely at a better not. fucking party than who, what they're at? To me, that's just a that. better party. Yeah, yeah, who, who, yeah. Doesn't, who doesn't want to have their own yeah, shitter? Fuck. The he, only... I, I started off judging the better party, but now I'm against my own self, and I'm like, fuck you, I'm on the side of the better party. The reason I... Uh, the <laughs> only reason I thought it would be fun to go to Burning Man is to have the dick camp where like we're recruiting for the CIA and I just wear the fucking men in black suit with fucking cl- mirrored shades the, and never break character the, the only boring questions you ever get about Burning Man and genuinely is, is like I hate when people ask okay there must be a way for us to sneak in and then things like that it's like I'm, this is just so boring. Oh, I thought you were going to say, did you get laid? No, no, but no. But you no. already answered that. No, no. It's, 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 did it's, you ever fuck anyone that you never talked to again or shared your name? Did you ever stuff anybody in a gas tank like a what? Mexican oh, to sneak yeah, them into uh, Burning Man? Wait a minute. Oh, I mean, sorry. I mean, One at a time. I've done, I've done that not in Burning Man, <laughs> but... Uh, hmm? Did you ever have... Very in, at Burning Man. Yeah, at no. Burning Man. Have sex with someone that you didn't share names or phone numbers. No. That was, oh, so she, well, knows, I don't, I don't she know. knows how to get Why is that you? germane to Burning Man? 
Because you would think with all the fucking naked photos that you just get built off your tits you know, on two CV. You know how, wait, you love. fuck some weird Do you know shit how smelly some shave. people are? Yes, I know. That's why it's not even... Wow. Like, uh, that would be like the thing as a younger person. You'd go, oh, I could go fuck that naked chick I saw in a picture because that's all I take pictures of. And I could fuck her even though she doesn't shave because I'd be on some designer drug and I would fuck her. And then I... W- so I was wondering, you as a non-drug user, did you ever poon someone that was out of her tit no. on some kind of ketamine? No. Where's the power in that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I think that shuts down this podcast. Let's back to our discussion on Stalin. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think you can... Hit the uh, button. You close the chili button. The chili button. Chili, I'm hitting your button. Good night. Tracy, do I have authority? Go for it.